Ah, uh, let's light this up, huh? What is going on, everybody? Welcome to a special episode of Yami Noob. I say that all the time, but this one's pretty special. Today, we are taking the venerable ZH2, our new expert bike giveaway bike, out on track. We are about to see how this thing performs. I'm gonna tell you guys how it feels, some of the pros, some of the cons of running a 200 horsepower supercharged naked bike in a closed condition like this. Uh, some background for you guys. I mean, I know my experience. I am a club racer. Uh, I have probably put about 15 different motorcycles on track in my time. Probably done, I don't know, 85 different days at this point at the track. Um, got a pretty good level of experience. Uh, definitely not a pro racer or anything by any means. I am a very much a mid-pack club racer kind of dude. But uh, got enough experience that I feel confident talking about this machine. So we are raiding right now to have uh, these cars pit out of the track here. And then we're going to get going. Uh, we've got the track pretty much all to ourselves today, which is pretty awesome because it's kind of cold actually. So we're about to get going here and I'll let you guys know what the ZH2 is like at pace. Ooh, side note guys, I'm running a lap timer in the tail section here. So once we pit out, we're going to jump off and see what my lap times were on the ZH2. <laughs> What's that? It's a yeah, it's crazy. It's really fast. <laughs> Alrighty, so I am really familiar with this track. This is kind of my home racetrack. I've done so many track days out here and uh, I'm very excited to get the ZH2 out here and tell you guys all about it because this is a really fast motorcycle. And I often tell you guys that when it comes to really fast bikes, the best way to enjoy them is to get them on the racetrack. And it's no different with the ZH2, you know? It's really the best way to explore and to enjoy your motorcycle is to get them on track. So right now, because this is a street bike, you guys will notice my pace is nice and controlled because we are simply building up heat in the tires. It's about 54 degrees here today, so we're not gonna be cooking it really good and uh, probably gonna be running about seven or eight tenths pace. We're not gonna be running race pace here today with the ZH2 and it's uh, kinda hard to do so on this bike anyways. We'll light up the wick here. Woo, work gear, baby. <laughs> now, the first thing I want to mention about this motorcycle when it's on track, that's a limiting factor, are the rear sets. The rear sets are super low on this bike, and so even at moderate degrees of lean, you uh, end up scraping the pegs or scraping your foot, and it's really not the best feeling in the world to do that. <laughs> and uh, man, this thing's got so much power, it's insane. So I don't really like the rear sets. That's something I'd recommend you change here to get this bike back straight here. Let's light it up. Mirror decided to move on me a little bit. As you can tell, this bike just has gobs of horsepower. You can barely access the power that it has. It's absolutely ridiculous. But the two favorite things of mine on this bike are the auto blip and the brakes. Man, the auto blip works so well on this thing. It is so nice to use, never puts up a fuss, lets you grab down a gear just the way you want. It's a, a really, really good system. Probably just gonna have to work around this mirror a little bit. I don't know why it's loose, but we're just letting it flap a little bit. Front straight here. Let's get the old ZH2 under some power. On the brakes. The front end is really confidence inspiring. It's got really good feel, good feedback, but uh, I gotta say the engine is just I don't want to say there's too much power, but for this frame and this bike, uh, it's a little too much power. <laughs> it feels a little silly to ride, I'm not going to lie. Now, because of those rear sets, it's difficult to get meaningful levels of lean on this thing. And I find myself having to 
adjust my riding style quite a bit on this bike to get it to do what I need it to do. It's just got so much power. I'm just... <laughs> we blew that apex a little bit because this thing is so fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's really good. See, just scraped the pegs there, scraped my foot a little bit. Down two gears with the auto blip, super easy to do. Not too bad. Now, I'm running about a 5 tenths pace here. I'm not pushing super hard, as you guys can tell. I'm still talking to you and having fun, but it's actually really difficult with the CH2 because it is just so naked in the ergonomics package. Now, as you can see on the braking zone, you gotta use your body like a sail, grab down a couple gears, and it's good to go, but it's, you know, again, the rear set there, I just feel my foot dragging a little bit. So if you are actually thinking about taking this thing on track, you gotta get yourself some rear sets. One of the great things about having such a powerful engine, though, is that you can have, basically, you can keep this thing in fourth gear and uh, just have fun with it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's got so much torque and power that you don't really need to worry about being in the right gear at the right time. Just twist the throttle and go. Let's see if we can get a nice little wheelie on the front straight, huh? Let's see, we'll light it up here. When you put your body weight into the front, because I'm so used to riding on track and keeping my weight at the front, blew that apex. <laughs> I'm so used to keeping my weight at the front that uh, I can actually manage to put my weight up and muscle this front of the bike down and not get it to wheelie as much, which is kind of cool. What else can I tell you about this bike? I mean, it's a naked bike, so it's, it's actually really hard to ride at pace because the ergonomics and the aerodynamics just don't work. This is a street bike. And that shouldn't come as a surprise to you guys. I mean, you guys should know that this is a street-oriented motorcycle. But look at this, third gear. Golly, it's got grunt for days, huh? Foot scrape there. Carry it out here. Down two, baby. But it's a lot of fun to ride, you know? You gotta take yourself not as seriously when you're on this thing. And it's kinda easy to do that. It's not really difficult to just be like, you know what, screw it, I'm just on this big, stupid, powerful motorcycle. Nothing really matters. I don't have to take it seriously. benefits of having this ergonomic package though on a naked bike is whenever you're approaching a braking zone if your uh, shoulders and arms are up for the task you can use your body as a sail to scrape my peg once again <laughs> you gotta get rear sets on this thing to ride it on track it's basically impossible to get a knee down with these stacked pegs you're just gonna roast your boots or your pegs whichever one comes first so much grunt from the ZH2 like, yeah, you can take it on track, but unless you're a pretty experienced rider, this is a handful of a motorcycle. This is a lot, a lot, a lot of bike to ride. And you can easily and quickly override it if you're not careful. One thing that I noticed as well is that ABS is really intrusive on this. Again, I'm going maybe like a five or six tenths pace here. I'm not pushing that hard. And I'm getting a lot of chatter from the front. So, you know, if, you're, <laughs> if you've got the balls, it might be worth it to disengage ABS on this bike if you want to take it on track because I'm really not pushing it very hard and I'm feeling the front end chatter quite a bit. It's really getting in my way. It's a fun bike though. You don't really tire of riding it. 
One thing about it though is the fuel consumption. Now, you're not really gonna care about that when you're on track, but it is a little annoying to, you know, I'll do a 30 minute session on this thing and uh, it's pretty much done run out of gas. <laughs> it's uh, kind of ridiculous to burn through like three gallons of gas in 30 minutes. But I guess that's what happens when you have forced induction. Auto flip is awesome. It works so 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 well. You really need to be mindful of where you squeeze the power. It's got so much juice that you gotta really be careful. Alright guys, I'm gonna be quiet now for the next two to three minutes as I round this corner here. I'm gonna try to set a hot lap on the bike. How about that? We'll try to actually push. Oh, just touch the knee without touching the pegs. Can you believe it? <laughs> All right, here we go. Front straight. Chatter, chatter, chatter. Oh, foot dragging. <laughs> All right, keep it in third here, that'll be easier. There goes the foot. <laughs> oh, God. Fourth gear. Mindful of the foot. A little squeeze. Got my foot dragging again. And it's not my fault that my foot's dragging, guys. It's really this bike. It is very difficult to manage the dragging of the foot on this. Alright, let's light this bitch up, huh? Awesome, I gotta give it to it, it feels really good. God! Trying to protect my boots and my foot. <laughs> Oh man, it's just scraped city on the ZH2, it sucks! Go here. Try to get in and get out here, this bike is not that easy to ride, but I'm doing my very best, guys. a decent little hot lap there. Hopefully we'll get some good times. I actually have a guy I know off the Discord server. I'll see if I let him catch up here. We can ride together for a little bit. I think I got a couple more minutes on track here. Maybe two or three more laps. Let's see if he's coming. There he is, turn one. We'll wait for him here. Oh, nice and easy. Click up into third. Yeah, he comes round and bend over there. Get some nice follow footage, huh? Here he comes. Let's have some fun, shall we? So he's on a ZX6. Check this out. Right 
riding pretty well. Nice and smooth and controlled. Good drive out of that corner. Pretty good setup there, good line. He's doing great. Could have had a little more drive through there. easy for him. Whoa. A lot of brakes there. Peg everywhere. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm, I'm literally just scraping these pegs everywhere, man.
Alrighty guys, what do you say we pit in and we check out these lap times? Alright, I'm gonna guess I was doing like a 214 tops. And to give you guys perspective, I normally do about a 205 or a 206 on my 675R, my race bike. So let's take a look. Let's check these lap times, guys. Let's see. <laughs> 217. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Two, oh my god, 217.87 was my best on the ZH2, uh, so yeah, I'm 12 seconds faster on my uh, 675, and that makes sense, you know, for me, this motorcycle is just, it's really difficult to ride at pace, and obviously it's not on slicks, uh, and despite having all that power, um, it's just, it's still difficult to operate. It's still difficult to squeeze out that power. You scrape pegs everywhere. Um, as you guys can see, you've just been scraping down these pegs here. Got the feelers, and that's just the feelers. If I actually went down to here, I mean, I was not leaning that much or pushing that hard on the bike. Um, you know, wear pattern looks pretty good on it. Pretty fun ride. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's not a track day weapon, guys. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well i hope you guys enjoyed this little look-see on the zh2 on track uh my final thoughts is yeah auto blipper works great the brakes work really great um the bike has just an absolute gobstopping amount of horsepower you guys already know that but it feels overpowered for what it is it should probably come as no surprise this is best reserved as a fun street bike not as a track day weapon despite the fact that the brakes and the auto blipper work very very well uh, thanks so much for watching. Remember, this is a giveaway motorcycle. Be sure to check out how to get under win for that. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See you later. Oh, hey, you're still here. I can't believe you made it to the end of the video. Not many people do. Just for you, I have a little treat. Hit this link over here. Check out the next video on the Yamanube catalog. What's going to happen in it? I don't really know. Maybe there's a boost in it. Maybe there's some cool wheelies. Maybe there's some fun memes. Probably. Who can say?